Hey guys, this is Chan here. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate to you that blockchain can be easily built using Microsoft Azure and the whole process takes slightly over half an hour and this is the fourth or fifth time that I've done it um, within the last 12 hours and it is actually really easy. The screen that you see here is essentially a, the lock-in portal for Azure. What I'm going to do is to first find the Ethereum uh, blockchain system through the Azure marketplace. So I'm going to find the marketplace. And I'm going to search for the Ethereum machine. Sorry, sorry, error. I'm going to give it some parameters so that it could deploy. I'm going to give it a prefix that will be attached to all of my um, Ethereum resources. In the password, it is going to be created using uh, the, the new resource group which I'm creating, and all the servers is going to be located in Central US. I'm going to create um, the, the minimum mining node required, and instead of selecting the standard. D1 machines, I'm going to select a cheaper machine. Um, I'm not going to use a recommended machine. You can see the recommended machine is going to charge me 69 Aussie dollar a month. And since this is a standard account, I will only have uh, about $260 that will last me for three months. I'm going to select the F1 standard machine. It's going to use less core, less space. For the transaction node, I'm just going to build one. And again, I'm going to select the cheapest machine. So these are the three virtual machines that will be created. Uh, the network ID, you can give it something that's unique to you. For the purpose of this testing, I'm going to use the passphrase and password, um, the similar passphrase and password. So these are all the parameters that I've been that I will be using to build my Ethereum ecosystem. Once the validation is created, I can click OK. And I can click on purchase. Now this whole process of of giving it the necessary parameters for building will take about uh, has taken me about five minutes, and it will take about slightly more slightly around 20 minutes for the entire machine uh, and ecosystem to be built. So these are all the resources that's currently in my Azure portal. As you can see, it's being deployed now. So now we wait. While still waiting, let's refresh the all resources. And you can see it's currently being built. And let's continue waiting. Okay, guys, just checking to see if everything has been deployed. Looks like it's still going. We'll give it a few more minutes. Hey, guys. Looks like the deployment is complete. Now let's check the resource group. So I've succeeded, and I'm going to get the URL for blockchain. So the RPC endpoint is the play is the URL uh, where you can interact with the uh, uh, with the Ethereum system. Now. Someone from MetaMask has developed a plugin to do a simple blockchain transaction, and I'm just going to add this to my Chrome. Edit. Now, 
I'm just going to point except create I copy elsewhere continue done now I'm going to create another account and I'm going to make sure oops, sorry wrong one now I need to switch to make sure it is pointing to the right Ethereum machine and that's the RPC endpoint settings RPC URL safe What I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize this account one Let me set this up properly. Give account one to one thousand ether. Submit. Ether sent. Oh, there you see. So it's quite instant. You have just account one has just been given one thousand ether. Now it's actually quite simple. I would like to transfer one hundred ether. To account two, what I need to do is to get the address of account two and go into account one to say I would like to send to account two 100 ether transaction fee 100 cent. So accept. So let's wait for a while. There you see. So I have successfully transferred 100 ether to account 2, and there is obviously a, uh, an admin fee. So that's all, folks. That's uh, a really simple blockchain system, and I have just like, did a transaction uh, using blockchain. Thanks. Bye.